this like nation of individuals that say, hey, I got mine and fuck you if you don't get yours. We need to be a nation that cares about everybody, embraces everybody, and is willing to put our money, our life, and our time on the line to make sure that not only our country is taken care of, but this whole planet is taken care of. But I, I did want to touch on one angry song. Okay, it's one of my favorites. And then, we'll, and then we'll hit a nice positive song all around that everybody can get behind. But uh, Rock the Nation is one of the songs that, that I like best. I mean, it, uh, in, in some ways it carries forth a concept that Rock the Earth carries forth, which is give the corporations some complications. And, and sometimes we do need to dig our feet into the sand and, and really dig our heels in and, and fight back. Well, what were you thinking? Obviously, those were some of the obvious thoughts you were thinking, but how did that song all come about when you started writing it? Well, the first lines of the song said, We're living in a mean time and an aggressive time, a painful time, a time when cynicism rocks the vine and a time where violence blocks the summer shine. You know, and, and I was really just thinking about this mean spirited time that we've been living in, you know, and um, how it's blocking. The, the heart is blocking the, the love from coming through and and so that's what that song is about and it was at the time when I had just been up at the WTO protest you know and so I was full of, <laughs> full of fire from that you know and um, and I do feel like there's a time when we need to give corporations some complications like I say in the song but I also feel like there's a way that all of us have to be able to work with those corporations, and I know you, you do this with Rock the Earth, to try to get them to understand that treating people with respect and treating the, the planet with respect is ultimately something that is going to bring, um, you know, generate them growth for the future and profits for the future, and that's the way that we have to go. There can't just be one bottom line of how much money we make. There has to be another, a second bottom line of what do we do along the way to make sure that we're preserving life for the future. And, and so that's really what I'm interested in today is not just being somebody who's out there saying fuck the corporation, fuck the corporation, but being somebody who says how can we enable this corporation to do something good. One last song.